There are six advanced YouTube analytics that experts check that you're probably not, which are the reasons why their channels get high watch time and perhaps yours don't. Stay tuned to the end because I'll run through three YouTube analytics that the retention strategist for the biggest YouTuber in the world often checks. Knowing which of your old videos are getting the most watch time is key to understanding how to keep your viewers watching for longer in the future. By rewatching your best performing videos, you can find the moments that your viewers like and do more of those things in future videos. When I was inside a boot camp run by YouTuber Airac, who now has over 12 million subscribers, I was shown a right way and a wrong way of finding my best performing videos. When most people are trying to find their videos that have high watch time, they'll go into the analytics tab, maybe click into advanced mode, select to show the average percentage viewed column here, and then just look down this column to try and find the videos with the highest percentage of view time. But then the problem with that is that you get YouTube shorts included in this data, which are obviously going to have higher percentage view time because they're shorter like this one here, it's only 27 seconds long and it's got a 91% average watch time. So a trick the experts use is they actually filter out YouTube shorts by clicking on the filter up here, saying that they only wanna see videos of a certain content type and clicking to only see long form videos. And we can see now down here, we're only being shown long form vertical videos and shorts have been hidden. And another bonus filter you can use is you can click up here and you can select to see only views that came from non-subscribers to the channel. And we're now able to find the videos that had the longest watch time, which also appealed to the broadest possible audience. So the first YouTube analytics trick that experts use to get more watch time is they filter their data. Next, learning what moments in our videos cause viewers to leave, help us stop repeating those mistakes in the future. And we want viewers to keep watching our videos for longer because whether you're a small channel or a large channel, a high watch time per video is essential for success. A huge YouTuber in my Facebook group recently showed me a new YouTube analytics tool that we can use to much more easily find the moments in our videos where people are leaving. That new tool can be found by clicking into one of our videos analytics, scrolling down to the old retention chart that we see here and clicking on see more, and then clicking this box and selecting detailed activity, and scrolling down, you'll see it here. And this tool shows me exactly how many people left my video at exactly what time. So for example, I can scroll to a moment where a high amount of people were left. So this moment here at three minutes, 24, 10 people left my video. I can click and then scroll up to my video and see what I was doing at that point. So at three minutes, 24, I was opening my laptop. And if I find in video after video that people leave when I open my laptop, I know not to do that again to keep people watching in the future. Think of it this way, if you get a 25% increase in watch time every time someone watches one of your videos, then that's a 25% increase in watch time channel-wide at the end of the month. And that's without filming any extra videos, so make sure you're checking that detailed activity tool to keep viewers watching for longer. Another way to increase watch time is to have viewers watch multiple videos of yours at a time, rather than them watching one of your videos and then moving on to a different YouTube channel. YouTube expert Ed from Film Booth says that the best way to get people to watch more of your videos is by telling them to watch another one of your videos at the end of the video they're currently watching. In the last 20 seconds of your video, known as the end screen, you can tell your viewers which video to watch next and give them a link to click on to watch that video like this. And by going into your advanced analytics, clicking this plus icon to add the clicks per end screen shown column. The higher numbers show you the videos that were best at getting viewers to click to watch another video. And the lower numbers show you the videos that did that the worst. And by doing more of what you did in the good videos and less of what you did in the bad videos, you'll get better at convincing viewers to go on to watch more of your videos. Now let's move on to the YouTube analytics that Mr. Beast watch time strategist regularly checks. So we can see from this tweet here that he typically looks for moments where more than 5% of the remaining audience decide to leave a video. So that's moments like this in my retention chart. So starting here at nine seconds in where 86% of my audience are watching still and going to 26 seconds in where only 68% of my viewers were still watching. This is a moment where more than 5% of my remaining audience left. So I need to study what I was doing at this moment to come up with ideas about what I could do differently to prevent that happening in the future. In this next tweet, Mario says that losing 5% of your audience in the middle is more significant than losing 5% of your audience in the first minute. So a moment like this in the middle of this video where it goes from 45% people watching down to 33%, this drop is way worse happening in the middle of my video than the drop that's happening at the start. So I need to pay special attention to what I was doing here 
and just make sure that I don't repeat this mistake in my future videos. In another tweet from Mr. Beast Watch Time Strategist, he says that an audience only leaves after a bad segment is over. So what that means is, even though people are leaving here, I'm getting a steep drop in viewers, they're leaving because of what I was doing earlier at this moment here. So I need to watch the points just before there's a sharp drop in my graph to really know what caused people to leave. YouTube tells us that a video needs to get a high amount of clicks as well as a high amount of watch time in order for that video to be promoted out to an even wider audience. In this video here, experts told me exactly which YouTube analytics they check to get their videos viewed by more people. So make sure you watch that next and remember to subscribe to the channel.